Three Dog Night. Never heard of them. Know nothing about them. But ready to find out. Um, the record is called Joy to the World. Now, I only know. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. That's the only joy to the world I know. But I'm going to assume that's that's not what's being sung here. Um, but again, we'll find out in, in just a second. But just to stay with tradition, we're going to do some quick research so I know exactly who Three Dog Night is and what they're all about. So here we go. They are an American rock band formed in 1967, founded by vocalist Chuck Negron, Corey Wells, and Danny Hutton. This lineup was soon augmented by Jimmy Greenspoon, Joe Shermy, Michael Alsup, and... Floyd Sneed. The band had 21 Billboard Top 40 hits between 1969 and 1975, with three hitting number one. Three Dog Night recorded many songs written by outside songwriters, and they helped introduce mainstream audiences to writers such as Randy Newman, Paul Williams. Which Paul Williams? Oh, I thought Temptations. I was about to say, uh, Laura Nairo. And Hoyt Axton. Okay. All right. So uh, they were signed to Dunhill, MGM, MCA, Epic, and Columbia. Heard of a couple of them. Their genres are pop rock, soft rock, roots rock, funk rock, blue eyed soul. I am a fan of all of those. Okay. All right. All right, well, uh, so seems like they have relatively moderate success. Um, 21 top 40 hits is nothing to scoff at. Three number ones is nothing to scoff at. But they really didn't get into album sales. And a six-year run um, of mainstream success is very impressive. Um, so... Yeah, uh, sounds like it's a you know a very successful band to me. Again, well, not very, but you know, moderately successful, and uh, definitely a, a good run. So, let's see what they're all about, man. Three Dog Night, Joy to the World. Uh, it says this is 1971. Now it looks like this is a a live performance, but maybe not. Maybe just a a stage, uh, you know, performance. Uh, but we'll we'll see. But uh, three dog night joys to the world. Let's go. Jeremiah was a bullfrog. Was a good friend of mine. So, yeah, this is definitely pop rock. Uh, yeah, I, I'll go pop rock. Um, it, it has a very poppy sound, but it's definitely rock and roll. Definitely rock and roll. Really, really enjoyed that mini. It wasn't really a solo because it was really a combination of piano and guitar. 
but kind of just having a solo moment between those two instruments. Um, I really like his voice. Um, we'll find out exactly. We we know that the 1969 group that I named at first, th there was some lineup changes. So we'll find out exactly. We'll get everybody's exact names afterwards. But really, really like his voice. Um, it, it's, it's almost like a poppy CCR. Like it, like it has... It has swamp elements, but it's it's definitely not swamp rock. It's definitely more on the poppy side, but I don't know, maybe because his voice is it's like a watered down poppy version of what CCR does. Um, but I really, really like it. Ladies love to have my fun. I'm sorry, it sounds like somebody popping fireworks. What the hell is that? Anyway, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I enjoyed the record. Um, that was a really, really fun record. Um, it's a... Uh, I said a watered-down CCR. I, I, I could think of another, a better comparison to that, but I really, really enjoyed it. Definitely, I would classify it as pop rock. Um, gosh, those early TV shows, outside of Soul Train and a couple of other shows, like I just the the the, the studio audience of a lot of 70s, 60s, it, I, just the fact that they they just seem so tamed and so boring, like. Clearly, the band was trying to really get into it and, like, get the crowd into it. And they just kind of was sitting there just clapping their hands. Like, the band really wanted them to get up and feel it. And the crowd was just kind of sitting there like, yeah, whatever. But um, as for the song, it was a really, really good song. Uh, so this song was written by Hoyt a uh, Axton and made famous by the band Three Dog Night. The song is also popularly known by its opening lyric, Jeremiah was a bullfrog. Three Dog Night originally released the song on their fourth studio album, Naturally, in November 1970, and subsequently released an edited version of the song as a single in February 1971. I'm going to assume because this was 311, 310, I'm going to assume that I reacted to the edited version, the single version, huh? I'm, I'm going to assume that you guys usually get on me for that. I'm sorry. If you guys don't specify, then I just react to the one with the most views. I'm not going to lie. Uh, this was through Dunhill Records. Um, 
They classify it as white soul and rock. I don't know about white white soul, but I mean, I guess. And I, I would say it is rock. I would say pop rock, but okay, just rock. Uh, which has been the song has been described by members of Three Dog Night as a kid song and a silly song. Top the single chart in North America was certified gold by the RIAA and has since been covered by multiple artists. I tell people all the time, yo, if you want a hit record, you have to appeal to the women and the kids. That's always the that that should be your aim if you're trying to make a hit record. Um, so the fact that they say it's playful and it's silly and childlike, um, it worked. It worked. It's a lot of big songs by great artists who they intentionally made a song for the radio and they had to dumb it down and make it simple and make it fun, make it digestible um, for radio play. That's just the game. Um, so the fact that they say that. And I can agree because of the lyrics and because of, again, it's a very digestible record. Anybody could hear this and, and enjoy it. it. There is nothing that kind of pushed the needle, so to speak. But it's good music. But I can understand why they say that. Um, but hey, it went number one. So, I mean... Mm. Oh no, lawsuit. Uh uh, I ain't we ain't gonna get into that. Damn, it was out for two months before it was certified gold, which would be platinum today with a million uh units sold. And that's just the US. It was nominated for a Grammy Best Pop Vocal Performance by a duo or group. The single went on to sell 5 million copies worldwide. Wow. So five times platinum. That's incredible. Mm. Yeah. Great record. Again, I can see why they probably think it's childlike and, you know, it... it it doesn't hold much weight, but again, it's, it's just a, a digestible record. And I feel like a lot of artists should try to do that. Um, definitely make the music that you want to make and, tr you know, try to make it as great as you possibly can. But um, you you do want to be able to, to appeal to the masses at some point. And I do believe to some degree that does require dumbing it down a bit. Because everybody's not going to sit here. Y'all know, y'all get on me for being too deep and always trying to overthink and get over analytical with records and stuff. And and that's the, that's the truth. Like, a lot of people don't want to do too much thinking and breaking down when they listen to music. They just want to hear it, hear what they hear, and if they enjoy it, that's what it is. Um you know, it's not so many people like me who just going to sit here and, like, break stuff down and compositions and all of that. Like, we really don't care about that stuff. So, when you want to hit records, you just kind of got to, you got to dumb it down and, and allow everybody to, to be able to process it. And I, I, I definitely think they accomplished that. I thoroughly enjoyed this record, though. I thought it was great. I thought it was good music, great singing. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. And again, I'm sure I reacted to the single version. I could only imagine what the, the full version, uh, the album version sounded like. But I enjoyed it, man. Three Dog Night. It was fire to me. Y'all let me know how y'all felt about it, man. Because I, I thoroughly enjoyed it and want to hear some more. Y'all let me know what else from Three Dog Night I need to check out. Like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget that 75K giveaway. Until next time with Three Dog Night. Peace.